All right, Hellcat. Hell yeah. How's it going? Man, it's good. I'm with you. Man, that's what's up, man. I'm glad to have you here. Hey, I'm glad to be here, man. So, uh, can you let everybody know where you're from? I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay. Yes, sir. What's it like for you going up there? Yeah, you know, poverty, poor, nigga shooting and 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 hoeing. But everybody getting money and just like any other city, people trying to make it. What are some of your earliest memories that you have of of Arkansas? Uh, just man, look, Arkansas. Arkansas has always been a task, but you know, cause it's 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 so much crime going on because the city is small. You know, like in LA, it's 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 big, and you could do something to a nigga, you never ain't gotta see their ass again, cause it's so fucking big. You know what I'm saying? But see, and and, and Little Rock, it's so small that everybody know each other. So, you know, the crime rate is, 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 is increased, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas ain't got shit to be proud of, or, you know. I remember, man, a long, long time ago, man, they had like this, this special that came out on TV and it was called Banging the Little Rock. <laughs> Banging the Little Rock. Cause like, and it was like shocking to everybody because they didn't know that you guys had gangs out there. They didn't. But whoever made banging in Little Rock, they like they they represented us wrong, man. They like right now, shit, man, shit, niggas is going ten times harder out in Little Rock right now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I, I I saw banging in Little Rock. The people that banging in Little Rock, uh, I know a lot of them. A lot of uh, other niggas in that mother, my friends. A lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? They from different hoods. You know what I'm saying? So I know, you know. I don't know what niggas was scared of, but I just feel like they represented us wrong. You, you said they met, represented you wrong. Like, can you kind of expand on that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, look, they had uh, white niggas in their gangbang. We ain't never seen it in the goddamn streets ever in our life. They had them uh, representing, I, I guess they were folks in there, when there's real life folks <laughs> that they could have got. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know the Crips in there. I'm, uh, I know the I know the bloods that was in there, you know what I'm saying. So, them niggas was real, but you know, just some parts, you know, they 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 wanted to they they wanted to exploit the shooting and the killing that was going on, you know what I'm saying. But, you know, they just didn't get, you know, I don't know, man. So you don't think those some of those dudes in there were actual gang members? No, hell yeah, I know they were. They my oh, partners, okay. some of my partners, the bloods and the crips. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I'm saying is the beginning of uh, gang banging in Little Rock were them when there was the, the white folks that was in there. Hell no, they ain't no business being in that goddamn representing our goddamn state like that. Shit, hell no. <laughs> so those guys were fake. Yeah, yeah, man, that shit was all man. It was all fictitious. It was all fictitious. Mm. And whoever made where where, where is that that made banging in Little Rock? You left a stain on our city. I'm all the way in California at the Cam Mother Capone show, and goddamn it, he asking me about banging in Little Rock. You represented our city the wrong way. You need to bring your punk ass back and get a new documentary and represent our city the right way. It's 2023. I'm tired of motherfuckers talking about banging in Little Rock. <laughs> no bullshit. So you get asked about it a lot, I take it. Yeah. Okay, because this is the only thing I really know about Little Rock, so I don't, you know. Really? Yeah, I don't know too much about Damn. Little Rock, man. Yeah, but now you know Hellcat, baby. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so what was school like for you growing up there? Um, They were scared of me at school. Like, they, the principals were scared that I was going to shoot up the school. So they, they sent me to a behavioral school, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love school. They always kick my ass out, though. You know what I'm saying? They sent me to the behavioral school, the the problem child school. You know what I'm saying? What happened that got you kicked out? He always got caught with a gun in school. And he thought I was going to shoot the motherfucker up. Plus, my OGs was older, so niggas was into it with other neighborhoods. And then where I'm from, and back then, them old niggas didn't give a f They was chasing us off the bus and the all kind of shit trying to catch us, so we took guns to school. You feel me? Uh, you mentioned getting kicked out for having a gun. How old were you when this happened? Uh, seventh grade. 
Seventh grade. What what was going on in the seventh grade that you had to bring a gun to school? I just was telling you, like, my older G's was older. And they would be in tour with some old niggas. And the older niggas from the other neighborhood would, would goddamn me follow the bus home and try to catch us young niggas jumping off the bus to beat our ass or do whatever. But I wasn't taking no ass whooping. You know what I'm talking about? I had a pocket rocket. I was going to pop that motherfucker to any motherfucker. That was gonna try to jump me. No shit. Damn. Okay. So you get out, kicked out of school and you got to go to this other school. Oh man, the other school. That was even worse. It was even worse, cause it, it was a it was a school full of bad cause that was just like me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really enjoying this every day. <laughs> yeah, man. We had to fight grown ups at that school. Man. You had to fight grown ups. Yeah, yeah. Now, how many fights did you get into there? Man, I can't count that shit, man. That many? I can't count that shit, man. All right, and you had to fight guys too? Yeah, Mr. Stealth, I'm telling you, you bitch, you restrained me. You 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 made my arm too. You twisted my arm. My arm still popped to the day, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think was like your worst fight? <sighs> well, shit, man, I done had plenty of those, man. You know what I'm saying? Fight, shootouts, and all kind of shit. But I'm here to tell the tale. You. you feel what I'm saying? So, I can't say which one was worse. I done had goddamn me crazy situations that, you know, I never really thought I would get out of, but with, through the grace of God, you know, I, 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 I'm here. Is there anything you could talk about? Um, shit, I can talk about a lot. Um, shit. <laughs> Man, look. Uh, one day, man, uh, I had this fine bitch with me, man. You hear me? And um, I was trying to go to the club, and the bitch was trying to wash clothes at my house. She really was trying to hate on me to keep me from going to the club. You hear me? So the whole time, I'm trying to kick the bitch out. I'm trying to go to the club. I'm, I'm ushering her out my house. I see the whole face just freeze up like... I looked up, it's a nigga with a ski mask and pistol. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly who you is. Give me what the f you got. You know what I'm talking about? The nigga was trying to put me in the motherfucking house, but I wasn't going in no motherfucking house. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna shoot me, bitch, you're gonna have to shoot me out here. And I was just going to the club, so I ain't even had that much money on me. So like, I'm, I'm like, I'm telling him, I'm like, Pimpy, you, 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 you practicing on robbing the wrong niggas, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, the bitch got laundry, and you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to the club, you feel me? I'm like, yeah, I know exactly who you is. Yo, uh, give it to me. Strip. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, in my parents' pocket, I had a grill, I had a fat sack of weed, and I had just enough money to get in the club, because I ain't need shit else. You know what I'm saying? So look, when the nigga tell me to strip, I take my pants off, I heard my grill hit the ground. You know what I'm saying? And the whole time, the bitch looking at me like, what's going on? Now she, a, she fine, man. She a bad bitch. Yellow bone, big titties, long hair, short, about four eight, four nine. You know what I'm saying? Just, she a dingy bitch though. She green, you know what I'm saying? The bitch looking like, is this really real? I'm telling the bitch, bitch, strip, bitch, you gonna get a shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, take, you know what I'm saying? So the, the punk ass robber got the gun on me. When she started to take her shirt off, he, he looking at her, he trying to see her titties. You know what I'm saying? So the mother got the gun on me. Soon as he got down me, he looking at her like this. Nigga, I tried to grab the gun, nigga. You hear me? Run, bitch! Bitch run across the parking lot. She got picked up because she pretty bitch with no shirt on. Nigga picked her up, you hear me? Told her to be out there on me, get in the truck. Bitch came back around. You look, bitch ass nigga, I grabbed the motherfucking gun. I felt the gun leaving my hands, bro. I couldn't grab it, you hear me? I shoved the whole ass nigga in the, in, in the bush and I took off running. Whole ass nigga. And I still, like I told niggas, I still don't know who the fuck that was, man. What that fuck ass nigga tried me, though. You know what I'm saying? He ain't get shit, though. Damn. Man, he didn't, nothing happened after that? Nah, he didn't chase shit after you? After that, man, hell no. I was high alert. Hell no. Sad punk ass nigga, your mama a bitch for birthing you, mother. And I'm still having my way, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah. What happened to the chick? 
Uh, she got in the car. Somebody tried to help her. She fine. You know what I'm saying? When she came she, back around, so she didn't have no shirt on. She, and she was no running down on. the street. She had. So I can I can honestly say a pair of pretty titties saved my life, bro. <laughs> I made no bullshit, man. Okay. Yeah, man. All right. Okay. Um. So you you get kicked out of school. You're going to this new school. And how long do you stay going there? Uh, they let me. They let me go back to regular school, like in eleventh grade. You know what I'm saying. So I stayed at this other school for like four years. You know what I'm saying. With other kids, this f up behavioral problems. They f up too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. No. The, see, the principal, the son of a bitch, drove past my neighborhood every morning, and every morning I would be with some older niggas hanging out on the block. But he knew the older niggas because the older niggas went to school, too. You feel me? So, you know, I kind of had a target because of where I was from. You know what I mean? Fuck you, too, Mr. Barnes, you bitch. Yeah, I'm on the Cam Capone show right mother now, huh? I made it, baby. <laughs> Did you end up graduating? Yeah, I graduated. Okay. I didn't walk. I never walked across the stage, though. How come? They didn't let me. They gave you a diploma, but yeah, wouldn't yeah, let you walk. Yeah, they gave me a diploma. Then when, hell no, nah, they weren't going to let me walk. Never mm. walk. Okay, now you graduate mm -hmm. from high school, and what do you do with yourself? Um, By this time, my partner's telling me how I'm already selling dope. I'm hustling like a fool, you know what I'm saying? And my partner is, is making me believe in this um, talent that I, I, I have, that I possess. Like, nigga, you special. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be somebody. People going to see this person. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. You know? So, you know, uh, pressed me to go to college. I tried to go to college. You know what I'm saying? Love college. They give me that goddamn school check money. I'll go buy some dope. Boy, I'll be up like a motherfucker. Boy. Love college. Had dope things coming out on the college campus and shit. Hard to concentrate, man. Selling dope, you're probably going to have a lot of wild experiences. You know, what do you think was, like, your most wild situation you had? Man, it's hard to say because, boy, I done had some situations, fam. I ain't going to lie. I'm a survivor, mother. <laughs> I done had a lot. And really, it's for another interview. If I give you, you know what I'm saying? If I, if, if I had to give you that situation, it's really for another interview. But I had a plenty of wild situations, my nigga. You know, that's all a part of, of growing up around uh, the rural area. How, how do you get in the music business? Um, just trying. People telling me that I'm special. My hum dead homies telling me, "Hey, nigga, you could be this. This is for you. You, you know, you could do this. You know." And the mothers made me believe it, and they had to go and get killed. Now I'm just. You feel me? Like, was there somebody you met, or you know what I'm saying? Like, what was kind of no, no, no. What, what like was the, the thing actual, that happened that, that got you in? The the actual um uh, actual is actually it's just like I said, the niggas in the hood. You know what I mean? Um, you got niggas, you got you got older niggas in the hood playing. Uh, my old nigga, my my, my older nigga was Dion. You know what I'm saying? That's my OG. Gave me shoes and clothes when I didn't have nothing to wear. You feel me? But um. He just inspired a nigga. Him, Champ, like all my homies. All my homies, they were just like, nigga, you special. You know what I'm saying? Before I could even see it. You know, running around with no, you know, broke with no shoes. You know what I'm saying? They saw it and I didn't see it. Well, that's what it is, man. Glad it, glad it helped. Yeah. Glad you made it happen, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. What all are you working on? Shit, man. Working on a lot of shit. And, um... Working on a lot of shit, just to be honest. Working with a lot of people. As of right now, we on our media run, our, our West Coast media run. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm out here I'm with my boy Flossy, the boss, uh, just trying to connect the dots. You know? But that's what it is. Yeah. Man, I appreciate you. I, man, come on, man. I appreciate you for fucking with me. <laughs> Definitely, man. <laughs> well, you know, well, shit. See you working. Shit, I see you working. Let's work. Uh, Make it happen. Hey, Show. love.
What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.